Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and today we are going to make a memory wire bracelet using pretty much everything that I have left bead-wise from the Bargain Bead Box for January 2023. So, um, it was called Midnight Skies, and I have, well, let's do our, our encouraging word for today, is true beauty is born through our actions and aspirations, and in the kindness we offer to others. And that was Alec Weck. All right, so you're going to need some memory wire. Um, I have this many bead caps left. Not sure how many that is. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I have these hex beads. I have all the blue stars, all the white stars, some of the druzies, this many of the rondelles, all of these barrels, and I'm going to be using one of these little drops and a couple of head pins, a couple of jump rings probably, and some memory wire. And I think think that that's all I'm going to use. I don't have any beads left except I do have a few of these small Labradorite beads. We may throw them on there. They do match. These teal colored mermaid beads are very pretty right here. Right here. But I feel like they did not match anything in the box. I don't even like them with this stuff. I don't think. Uh, maybe I do. I don't know. They don't seem, they kind of go, but they don't go. So... I don't know. It's making it really hard. <laughs> I can't figure that part out, but I don't think we're going to use them on this, but we might. I just think they're a little too turquoisey for this box because everything else in it was fairly either dark blue or baby blue. They kind of match these, but I don't know. We might. We'll lay them up here just in case. Um, And then I had this one green bead left, and it doesn't match any of this, so I'm just going to pull it out. It's not going on this bracelet. <laughs> Um, and that's it. I had a lot of these star beads and stuff. I don't really get into these star beads so much. Um, these links I haven't used yet. And this stuff I haven't used yet. I'm probably going to use those earring, those as earrings here in a little bit. But yeah. So anyway, we're going to go here with this. Okay. So memory wire. Um, I don't know how many loops we're going to get out of this. This is very strong stuff. Do not cut it with your regular pliers, okay? I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to make a loop here on the end. Not a huge loop. Just a loop because this is going to hold my beads on. Okay, so right like that. You want to make sure it touches so that nothing's going to fall off. I don't know that we're going to get this many loops out of this, but we'll give it a try. So, let's see. What do I want to start with? Um, I think I'll start with these little blue stars. They're kind of cute. I don't know. Um, like, I don't think they necessarily look like a star. <laughs> they kind of look like a flower, even. Um, they're cute, but I am not a real huge fan of beads. The shapes are um, not real easy to discern. So, uh, you know, if... They looked a little more like a star. Now those white ones do. But these blue ones just kind of look like little blue blobs. <laughs> but they are pretty. They're pretty little blue blobs. <laughs> but I'm going to put them all on here. Every one of them's going on this memory wire. And I have found with memory wire bracelets that if you stick to about a row or a half a row, and by a row or a round, I guess I should say, a round is one full piece of this stuff, one full round. You know, if you stick to a round or a half a round of the same bead, these turn out looking a lot better than if you try to mix things all up on here. I think if you try to mix things all up on here, it just ends up looking like a bunch of, like a big conglomeration of a <laughs> stuff that just has no order to it and that's just my own personal preference but from what I have found when I use memory wire it turns out a whole lot better if I come up with some sort of a pattern of rounds so like this whole round is going to be these blue stars and we'll see if it makes a whole round I think it will it's like a slinky you got to get everything down to the bottom so it doesn't make an entire round, but that's okay. It's You're putting everything kind of together. It is about a half a round. Okay, so then let's see what do we want to do next. Do I want to put these guys on? I don't know. Maybe. They're not bad. They're just, they just didn't seem to really go with everything, but maybe they will. Maybe they'll look better once I get them on here. We'll see. 
So let's do those. And I might space them out with these. No, that's not going to look good. Okay, so with memory wire, I don't want to make it too heavy. These are heavy and these are heavy. So I'm going to kind of work up to the thicker beads. So let's go with these next and let's use bead caps. Well, do I want to do the bead caps on there or on these? Uh, I may use the bead caps on these. So let's see. There's one, two, three... Yeah, I'm going to have to use the bead caps on those, I think. So let's do this. Let's just put these on and space them with a Labradorite bead. So we're going to do one Druzy, one Labradorite, one Druzy, one Labradorite. Just like that. Keeping it simple. Druzy, Labradorite. Druzy, Labradorite, Druzy, I'm just going to keep doing this over and over until I run out of these Druzies because I think I'm going to run out of them before the Labradorite ones. Okay, and these are looking pretty. These little Labradorite beads are hard to see the holes in there, are teeny tiny. And this looks like it's going to do about a half a round too, so that's okay. And one more, and I'll do one more of these guys. Okay. So let's scoot it all down. And with these, I just move everything down to the bottom and then look at it, make sure it looks like I want it to. If it doesn't, then I'll change it up. Okay, let's get that one down there. It's wanting to lag behind. Okay, so that looks good. Now, what do we want to do? I kind of want to go into these bigger ones. I want to make it look good so let's see let's do let's just do these guys by themselves okay so yeah i'm just going to do them by themselves i think you know what i have these spacers here that i had used on some other things i might i might space them with those um those spacers were just from my own stash but i've used them on i made a necklace and I think a bracelet, <laughs> can't remember now, um, out of this bargain bead box. And I use these spacers just because I like, they, I felt like they matched pretty well with the box. They have kind of an iridescence to them and matched pretty well. So I think we'll do this. We'll do these turquoise ones with one of these silver spacers in between. And these are just kind of a faceted rondell metal spacer. I think they may have even come from Bargain Bee Box, if I'm not mistaken. But not lately. I don't know when I got them. It's been a while. Okay, so we're just going to add these with a silver spacer in between. <laughs> if you hear slurping in the background, that is Sadie. She's getting a drink out of her water. <laughs> She's noisy about it. And I'm just going to add these on until these big turquoise beads are gone. Okay. And one more spacer, one more turquoise bead. And one more spacer. Another thing with memory wire bracelets I have found is if you add in metals, it really elevates the look of it. There we go. Okay, pretty good. All right, I'm getting everything mixed up here. All right, now, let's see what we wanna do now. So, 
these guys I kind of want to get in the middle. So it's looking like I'm getting towards the middle. So I think what I'm going to do is do this bead cap facing away from this bead, then put this bead on, then do this bead cap facing away from the bead. See how that is? They're facing away. We're going to put these down, okay? And then I might mix these in between. So I've got, let's do this one. And we're going to do the same thing. Bead cap facing away, barrel bead, bead cap facing away. I'm just going to see if these um, rondelles look good in between here. They may not because of the mix of color, but we'll see. It may be okay. And same thing again. Bead cap facing away. Barrel bead. Bead cap facing away. Okay, then we'll go this lighter blue with the rondelle. All right. Bead cap facing away. Barrel bead. Bead cap facing away. Back to this. Okay, and one more. Um, barrel bead, bead cap facing away, and we'll do this white clear one. Okay, so there's that. Not bad. Now I think what I'm going to do is, let's see, we need to get these stars on, and we need to, I'm going to do the hex beads next, I think. So, I think I might just do a row of the hex beads by themselves. Let me see. Yeah, I don't think they need a whole lot of stuff in between. Let's just do them by themselves. So, I'm just going to put them all on, however many I've got. I don't think I have enough for a whole round, or maybe not even enough for half, but I'm just going to put them all on. They are really pretty, sparkly little things. Okay, scooting them down as I go. Memory wire bracelets are some of the easiest, and they can look so pretty because it looks like you have multiple uh, bracelets on. Okay, there we go. Pretty good. Oh, there's one more. Don't forget him. I always end up with one stray somewhere. Okay, there we go. Alright, is that it? Yeah. You know what? I had more bead caps up here. I didn't realize. There's one, two, just two. Okay, that wouldn't have done a whole lot. Okay. Now we're going to just make sure everything's scooted down, and here's what we've got. Now let's see, I think I will do stars with Labradorite in between. So I'm going to start with a Labradorite, and then a star. This is all I've got left, except for my little spacers, but Labradorite, and a star. Yep, and I'm just going to alternate those until I'm out of stars, which I'm probably going to run out of before Labradorite. This is kind of a patriotic, a little bit, <laughs> bead box this month. If you're in the United States, that is. The stars. And blue. Could have mixed red in and really made it patriotic. Okay. I'm not really in the patriotic, I mean, I don't mean that to say I'm not in the patriotic mood, but I'm, you know, 4th of July is when I would do that, probably. <laughs> not right now in the middle of winter, but <laughs> it is a thought. You could. You could save this box for 4th of July and be a great one. There's the hole. Good heavens, it's tiny. I don't see it. Maybe this one doesn't have one. It has to. It was on a string. Okay. One star. 
One more Labradorite. Oops. <laughs> Goodness, the holes are hard to find in these. There we go. And one more star. And one more Labradorite bead. There we go. All right, now we're out of beads except for these spacers, and I'm not going to do a row of spacers because that would be, I just don't think I need to do that. So what have we got here? We've got about a four strand. Um, I feel like it does need just a little bit more here on the end. Maybe I'll alternate the Labradorite and the spacers. I could do that, I guess, and finish these up. Let's do two Labradorite and two spacers. We'll see what it looks like. Oops. Oh my goodness. There they are. Now, do I have one there? Yeah. So let's do two and then two spacers. Two Labradorite. Two spacers. Yeah, that's cute. Two Labradorite. I can say I did not get as much jewelry out of this month's box. Maybe I misused or mishandled my <laughs> beads. I don't know, but um, there was a lot of metals. I just uh, had a lot of charms and metal stars and stuff like that left over that I just didn't use, but they'll go for something for sure. But it just didn't seem like there were as many beads. Or maybe there were just a lot of small beads and star beads and stuff like that this month. That could have been it. Alright, let's get these last little guys on here. Two spacers. Labradorite. Oh my goodness, where is that? Keep dropping them down the middle of the bracelet, which is really getting on my nerves. <laughs> There's the hole. Okay. Two spacers. I do love these spacers, and I can't remember if I got them at Bargain Bead Box or not. I think I did, but they're so pretty. Just this iridescent, like, coating on them. And the rondelle, faceted rondelle shape, they're just really pretty. Sparkly. Okay, let's add these two on. We're getting down to the end of it. Two more spacers. Two more Labradorite. And I'm going to make sure this is all of these Labradorite beads I have because I'm notorious for leaving one in the container that I had them all in. And then I'm like, I just have one bead floating. I'll stick it in my bead suit, but I'd rather use it if I have it, so let me see. Make sure. Oops. Okay, there's no more in there. I don't see any more. Do y'all see any more? I don't see any more. I don't see any here on the bead mat, so I do have just one Labradorite bead <laughs> floating around. <laughs> Never fails. <laughs> All right, we'll put him on a dangle, maybe. All right, so here this is. Now I'm down to the end. I'm going to use my memory wire cutters to cut this because you do not want to use your regular cutters. Make sure everything's pushed down because these are real easy to uh, have a big gap, you know, if you're not careful. And I'm just going to cut it big enough to make a loop. Uh, probably about right there is good. Okay, and then I'm going to take my round nose pliers. Might be a little bit too much. Take my round nose pliers and roll a loop. And I always roll the loops in because I just feel like it makes it a little less pokey on your skin or something. Okay, so here's what we've got. It's cute. Okay, now let's make a dangle or two. So I've got this little guy right here. I'm going to take a jump ring and hook him on. This should work. Little eight millimeter jump ring. And 
I have another one of these I may put on the other end too. So we're just going to hook him on right there. Make sure that's closed up good. I probably should hook the, hook one on the other end too. Let me grab one more. I could use one of these star beads on the other end. I don't know. I like to, maybe I'll use one of those on the other end. I haven't used them on anything at all yet. Okay, so there's that, and then I can, um, it's got another little hole here, so I'm going to do a little dangle. So, let's do a little, uh, let's do a little Labradorite bead. <laughs> Again, I cannot find a hole. This is the last little Labradorite bead, and a bead cap, and this white bead. That's cute, right? Should we do the bead cap on the other side, too? Yeah, we'll do both bead caps. All right, I'm going to make a wrap to loop here. No, I'm not. These jump ring, these are ball head pins, and normally I would not ever not do a wrap to loop on a ball head pin, but these are thick. I don't know why <laughs> they're so thick, but they are, so I don't really need to do a wrap to loop on them. Uh, if I had a thinner one, I most definitely would, but... These seem to be fine just making a regular loop. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab another little jump ring, maybe a smaller one for this little oval one. Here, this one's cute. We'll do this little oval jump ring. And I'm just going to hang this little guy right on here. If that oval jump ring will go through there, it may be too thick. Oh, it goes. Okay. Close that up really good. And there's one little dangle. Cute, huh? Okay, let's flip it over. Let's put something over here. So I've got these. Um, I could do one of those moons on the other side too, I guess. Make it even. <laughs> so we'll do that. We'll just put a moon on each side. Another little 8 millimeter jump ring. Hang this little moon over here. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing. We'll just make this little dangle. So I'm just going to do a little star bead on top of the blue bead. Should I add one of these little spacers? I could. Maybe I'll do the spacer bead and then the star bead. How's that look? That's cute. Let's do that. And again, I'm not going to make a wrap loop. I'm just going to do a loop. So this is a thick ball head pin. Quite thick for a ball head pin. Roll it back. And make sure that it's closed really good. Okay, and then I'm just going to hang it on with a small jump ring. It's not closed really good. If you have trouble getting your loop closed, you can take your crimpers. It's got those little divots in there and it helps. And I think, well, do I have another oval jump ring? Because that would match. Not that anybody's going to be up that close looking at it, but still. <laughs> My OCD tells me that it should match. There's one. We'll use it. Okay. Alrighty, let's do this. And turn this this way. And we're just going to hang this guy right on here. And it'll be another cute little dangle on the other end. And do I not have that jump ring open wide enough? These little holes in these connectors are pretty tiny. Let me open that a little bit more. There we go. All right. We got it. Make sure it's closed up really good. Just like that. And there we have it. Really cute. Um, it turned out better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> Let's put it on. See what it looks like on. And see these, uh, these, um, what you call it? Memory wire bracelets. They make it look like you have multiple layers um, of bracelets on. And if you're, you feel like it's stretched out a little bit, because they can kind of, you know, when you're beating on them, just take it and wrap it back tight. Won't break your beads, but 
kind of hold it tight and it'll it'll kind of form back into its shape just like that okay just kind of hold it back and then it kind of forms back into its shape a little tighter again all right guys um well thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like it subscribe to my channel and um yeah bargain bead box it's a great deal i think and i will see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.